Hey guys and welcome to Spoiler Alert, your weekly intake of esports news. I am your host, Seven Pink, and we'll be reviewing this week in esports. First up, first up, we have Dota 2 now available in China. It's gonna enter the beta tasting. It happened this week and now it has launched. The microtransactions are just the same as North America. And it might just be what Dota 2, Dota 2 needs to pass a million concurrent players mark daily and therefore try to rivalize someday with League of Legends' epic proportion of daily players. Second news for the day, we have Dota 2 now the most played MOBA on Rapture. Dun, dun, dun. It just passed League of Legends. Dun, dun. <laughs> for the first time since 2009. It has the drone League of Legends. Da, da, da. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 still number one. Da, da. Followed by... Well, now Dota 2. And we also have the Rift and World of Warcraft up there following the order of the Rapture leaderboard. So the question is, will Dota 2 be able to maintain its position as the most played MOBA on Rapture? But especially with the League of Legends Season 3 World Championship coming up, with the viewership that it promises to bring and the attention to League of Legends, it's gonna be a really hard battle. Probably, stop calling Nemo, probably a really close battle. <laughs> However, considering that Dota 2 has just released publicly in July 2013 after a very long beta, uh, and since League of Legends has been around since 2009, maybe it's gonna be a really close battle for the top MOBA spot. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. I don't know why I'm taking this voice. So, another news, we have Team Liquid, boop, boop. new media partnership with who you might ask, with This Is Game. Uh, this Is Game is the fastest news source for StarCraft 2 news in Korea. They're the ones providing the interviews uh, for the winners for WCS. So, it will most likely mean that Team Liquid Liquid will now have a much better coverage for the Korean esports scene for fans around the world, including Dota 2 and StarCraft 2. Next up, we have the aim and she scores. Shoot Mania Storms joined the MLG roster. So that is for the Game Battles Arena for the PC, so don't freak out yet, it's not gonna be featured in the Pro Circuit, but maybe someday it will, or it won't. Or it will. Or it won't. So yeah, tell me what you think about that. Would you like to see it featured? Or do you not like it? You tell me. Next news, Dreamhack. Boo! Our little Swedish buddies right there are partnering with MTGX and starting up a new esports studio in Stockholm. So they're going to be doing this studio, which will be broadcasting starting later this autumn, it will be 7 days a week, 365 days a year, not a week, because that would be crazy. Uh, it's going to broadcast all kinds of stuff, pay-per-view, VODs, live broadcasting, uh, to mainstream outlets, including TV and major on-demand services. It's going to provide a lot of esports league and tournament coverage. It's going to branch out to most likely many esports from what they're telling us. Most likely to FPS even and fighting games. So we might be seeing some more diverse esports covering coverage on the horizon. This is getting really silly. I don't know why today I'm so... Whatever. Tell me if you like it or not. <laughs> So yeah, MTGX, if you don't know it, is part of the multi-million dollar international broadcaster group, Modern Times Group, providing TV and radio all around the world. So it might just be what esports needs to be pushed internationally at the forefront of entertainment. Up next, Boxer stepped down as head coach for SK Telecom, May the... Nerd tears be with you, boxer. Why? Why are you leaving them? So yeah, after unspecified health reasons, from what I've read, after six months as head coach, 
and nearly a year on the coaching staff, he will be stepping down. And he also did lead the team to a first place finish in the various uh, in the previous seasons of Pro League. So yeah, Boxer, age 23, also known as the Emperor, uh, which is one of the biggest esports icons, is going to be stepping down from his coaching role. He's also one of the most successful Brood War players. Last news of the day, positive news. Bring back up the mood. We have Twitch TV plus 20 million of DD dollars. Yeah, they make it rain now. They make it rain. So yeah, they just got an investment of 20 million dollars by Thrive Capital, which means they're going to be able to do two things. Well, that's what they're announcing. They're going to be growing their advertising sales team and make its European infrastructure for live streaming tournaments in U Europe and Asia better. So we hope this will happen because they've been saying they're improving their European outlets for a while and I'm still hearing a lot of complaints but I'm sure they're doing the best they can because it's their business so they probably want you to have a good service. Hopefully this will help. Uh, so yeah, Twitch TV, super se epicenter of the esports boom. It really helped out esports grow. And its rivals kind of died down, if you remember, own 3D and whatever the hell's going on with Azubu. Not really picking up. So yeah, it's pretty much at the center of the market for live streaming of competitive gaming. Uh, it pretty much has the monopoly. And we're going to have like... The releases from Blizzard working with them. We have hardware for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 being synced up with it. So it's pre it's looking pretty darn good for Twitch. Especially considering in August, October, <laughs> October 2012, the company has about 20 million monthly viewers. And now in August this year, it's up to 45 min million viewers. So it's more than double, which is pretty darn crazy and looking pretty darn good. Thank you to League of Legends a lot, but all the games also have been picking up the streaming, so it's really good to see the growth here. So in the future, do you think, that's the debate of the week, do you think some competitors will rise to face the giant Twitch TV, notably YouTube, which is trying to get into live streaming, and what about Ustream? I heard it thrown here and there somewhere. And what the hell's going on with the Zubu, right? So do you think Twitch is going to be able to keep its monopoly on the market? Tell me in the comments down below. Follow my sub, follow, sub to my YouTube. Follow my Twitch channel. Do all the things. And I will see you guys next week for more esports news. More esports news. More esports news. More esports news with Levin Pink. Esports news. Esports news. Bye.